up sunshine it's time for a cleanup episode we've got a few things to go and grab but we missed a quintessence which is pretty big so we need to make sure we do that um i should be able to upgrade already but we're probably gonna be able to get two heals more than i had before for this episode which is good and we've got some quest stuff we're not really quest stuff we can do just a little bit of like loot we can grab and a few bits and bobs so let's get that done Obviously, I did a little bit of scouting around, so I have a little bit more vigor than I had at the end of the last episode. As I say, right now, because I want to do the Rosamond Sword, we're going to go ahead and just keep on nice and evenly pumping that up. We need to go to the mines. This is where we missed it. Right where the Ruiner is, so it's not too far to get or difficult, which is pretty handy. It's just an oversight on my part. You have my apologies. So, we need to clear these enemies out. Bowl. And ideally, we don't want to go into Umbral right now. That'd be bad. I'm just going to deal with these as quickly as we can, though. Excuse me. Now, I've been toying around with a lot of the Infernal spells, and the unfortunate truth of the matter is, end game, lots of enemies are very resistant to fire. Now, luckily for the Hammer spell in particular, it's so potent it doesn't matter so much. But a lot of the other spells just end up becoming... Worthless might be too strong? They, they, they do damage. But even something like the boss spells and stuff, they, they were just were not doing very well. So expect to see more and more Umbral spells take the place. I mean, we're mostly Umbral anyway. We're just going to end up switching this one out for something. Um, but you eat like there's a, there's a really nasty move the Light Reaper does to you. When you use it, it just doesn't even do anything. It's a bit... It's a bit bad. Not bad. Not bad. It's okay. Maybe maybe it's that the hammer is so overpowered. I'm uh, I'm spoiled, but like when you see this, just like downing this guy, that's just it's just too crazy. So this is exactly where the quintessence is. <coughs> we do have a visage to fight. So where are you? I want to be ready. Where is it? Should we have been this visage around here? That's an aggro. Oh. Sorry, me. That skeleton better not come over. That'd be annoying. Grab that. Whack some hammers out. So good on you. Kaboom! That's one done. Complete with some decent loot as well. Got a new room. Okay, so with that ticked off. We can go and check to see if we can complete Andreas of Ebb's quest. Now, while I was live streaming, this quest did not activate correctly until the Light Reaper was available in Upper Calrath, which is a little bit later on. Um, but we'll go and check to see if we can, because what's supposed to happen is, because he, he tried to crush us with that ice, he's now back in Skyrest. And so, basically, when we go and speak to him, he's going to ask us to go and find his book, which progresses his storyline. So let's do that. It's not entirely essential. I don't. Well, actually, it's going to be essential for trophies. So here's something that I've been told just by comments. Ha like it's difficult for me to know everything so quickly, and there's there's quite a lot going off in this game. But NPC boss battles count as boss battles for the purpose of having defeated all bosses. Now, I don't know if this game counts it as, like, per character. So let's say maybe you could do a new game and do some of them, and then maybe new game plus you do some more. Or if you have to do them all in one run. If you have to do them all in one run, this game is at least three full runs, because that will mean you'll need to do cleansing the pillars with all of the other quest lines available, because you need to cleanse the pillars for Damaros, to become available as a boss. Oh man, cats. As I was saying. So, um, so Damaros as a boss battle is immediately two playthroughs. And then you have the Umbral ending, which also interferes with Damaros's ending. So. So the the, the, the the crutch point seems to be Damaros, right? 
Now, the, the good thing is, as far as I can tell, and we're going to test it at the end of this series, it looks like we can at least do both endings in one playthrough, I believe. Because, because, because we've left the... Um, we've left the beacons uncleansed. The alternate ending is actually cleansing them anyway, but with a different rune. Yeah, cool. This is here. Nice. See, this, this must have bugged out in my stream. This is what we're here for. This didn't appear here straight, for, straight away from me. You'll have to do better than that if you want this lamp, coward. Keep your distance. I warn you. I'll take the side away for it, or not? Um, so anyway, so because we're basically going to cleanse them at the end anyway, in one of two ways, you can basically do it, um, and in the two different ways, you get the two different endings, if you save scum. So that, that should be doable, endings-wise. But bosses, you can't fix that. Um, and neither can you fix the, uh, the outcomes for the blacksmith, which I, I'm going to attempt, again, something else we're going to test at the end, because I think we can do that any time, is we can hand over the, the cracked rune to Sparky. That gives us a trophy. Now, something that I don't know is, right, so Sparky, if you give the third um, rune tablet to Sparky, he's going to give you the ability to blacksmith at checkpoints. What I don't know is, is whether or not that passes over to New Game Plus, and I can't see anywhere that mentions it. So we're going to test that at the end of this as well. So I'll give it to Sparky right at the very end of the playthrough. Which means I'm not going to be able to have triple runes, but that's fine. Um, and we'll see, because if that passes over to New Game Plus, that's kind of worth doing at New Game Plus. Because if you can if you can retain that ability, then that's perfect, isn't it? So anyway, so we did that. Just in case I didn't mention it, you're supposed to speak to him in here. I'm pretty sure I did. You're supposed to re-speak to this guy in here. That's how you get the book to appear. And then now that we've got the book, we hand it in over this way. Right, so done. Uh, so that's Andreas caught up with now. I will double check on everything for... Dunmire later, but it's not important until we get to the tower. So that's fine. What else do I need to look at? I made, I made a little list of things I just need to go and pick up. Uh, the spell that I missed just after the hamlet. I said ages ago I'd show you guys me picking that up. Let's go pick that up. That is... So we need to get to the hamlet... I think I already picked it up, which is why I knew that I'd missed it, but I'm going to show you where it was anyway. I can't remember what it was. It, it, I think it was like a bigger Radiant spell. That I can't remember the name of, so we're going to come on out. And we need to go past the doggos. These enemies are going to feel like crazy. Whoops. Something got me. Wow. You fast, aren't you? Little bugger. I'm gonna have to farm some more of the um, big red boys, aren't I? Because I'm not gonna have enough umbrals. One of the trophies is getting all of the boss stuff. Another trophy is getting all of the armor and weapons, so you have to buy everything from the Umbral shop. I need to find myself a total to see how many you need. So the spell that I missed, that I didn't pick up with you guys, where was it? It was along here. There's a pretty obvious spot as well. Which is why I was annoyed at myself, because I should have just picked it up. It's because I'm, like, when I'm talking, I'm distracting myself. I, uh, that's when I generally miss things. It was along this side, anyway. There you go, look. No, that's not a corpse. Usually there'll be something there showing you. Oh yeah, right here, look. Yeah, there we go. It was right this. Just right here. This is the spell that I forgot to pick up that I said many episodes ago. I'd show where it was. It's right there. I can't imagine anybody else missed it. I'm surprised I've not had a comment on it yet. Um, you guys have been way too kind to me. I appreciate it. Uh, but that's what that was. So that's another thing ticked off. Excuse me, buddy -os. I'm trying to, trying to talk here. Closest checkpoint is... Back to the Hamlet, probably. So, I'm going to skip... 
forward a little bit. The next thing we need to do is grab the map in Calrath. I forgot to get us the upper mal upper Calrath map. So let's go there. So for this, we need to go back to the district vestige. And it's really close by to the checkpoints. This one won't take long at all. All you need to do is come around this way and go to the left. Up there. All right, then. So with that done, we also want to grab the two treasure doors. So before we head into Memorial, which is where we're going to be going next, right? We have one that is a little bit past Sanctuary. So we're going to go there. So we're going to head up the ladder. Just pass back through as if we're going through from before. way down. There's not very much in the way of enemies here. Music seems to be completely off. Make sure you have this. Um, <laughs> on my stream character, I completely missed the Aspergulum, or whatever it's called. Make sure I grabbed this. Yeah, I did. That's a heal there. I didn't miss the one that easy to find. with you. Yeah, so I ended up missing that on my uh, stream character, so I had everything for Dunmire's quest, apart from that piece, and that was just had me so confused, it was hilarious. Open the door. This is an armor set. I don't think there's anything else in here. Sacred Resident set. Big Bell Helmet. Having a bell for a head. I'm sure there's some awesome innuendos for that. Right, so now we're going to head back and we want to go to the bell room next. So I'm going to skip to the checkpoint. Let's go ahead, press the bell room. And then now we want to go down the lift. The locked door. There's the bell door right there. That's actually where we're going to be going next, which is why I left this part till last 12 minutes. That was a lot of cleanup. A lot of cleanup. I'm sure you guys have probably already done most of this, to be honest. Give all this stuff. I like to try pushing you off. And even when you're a fair amount ahead of the game, you still don't want to really get pushed down there. If I'm honest. Did we collect the loot in there? I don't think we did. If you haven't already, I think I must have come down here checking stuff. Um, if you haven't already, make sure you grab the few Duralium shards you can get in there. They're really small ones, but it's nice. Anyway, where was the Paladin guy? Did I accidentally get him already? Or is he gone? I saw a rumor they were going to reduce some of the enemies. I hope they don't do that. Yeah, is he not here? Seriously? I need to check that. That's cr No, don't reduce enemies. I've been enjoying the desperate feel of this game. <laughs> A lot. <laughs> Call me what you want. It's true. No, he's going to push me off. Don't do that. Right, so they've got a thing healing them right now. That's not good. However, I've got such high damage. I can't believe the damage on this. Um, on this thing. Did we get it? I think we did. The damage on the Barrescues is absolutely immense. Seven, five, seven. I think that's actually already up to what we were doing endgame with the Infernal one. However, the thing that I didn't have on my Inferno build was this. So I guess it's unfair comparison because I, what, I am 20% up in natural damage. And I think in New Game Plus, what I'll probably do is I'll probably try to um, triple up on the mana regen on the shield 
and then you can switch this to something else. There's um there's another ring that does an additional twenty percent uh, for the cost of one spell slot, and being as four is enough for me. I think that's pretty good. And that's everything here. I find this funny that this guy's um, being healed. So it can actually survive if you attack it. Now, I don't think I checked out here with the lantern. But it looks like there's not much here to care about. And that is everything I can think of that we need to clean up. If there's anything that you feel like I've missed, now is a good time to post it in the comments. That way, if anybody else looks down there, they'll at least have a clue that you know there's some stuff that they can be getting on with and getting done. Um, I've obviously decided not to do, to mess with too many quests right now, but I'm pretty sure everything that we everything that can be completed is completed, and we haven't broken any. Other, well, I I haven't broken any other than Kukajin, but I hopefully I put that early enough in the series that everyone knows about it. So we are done and ready to move on. Catch you guys very shortly as we go through into the memorial area.